Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com, Manage Cloud Hosting. Today I want to show how to use our PHP selector inside of cPanel so you can select the exact version of PHP that you want to run and also how you can add extensions. Now, most web hosts, they just put PHP on the server and you're stuck with whatever they have. And if you want to change, it's really too bad. Well, with us, we realize that some scripts don't necessarily always work with the PHP version we have on our server. And also, some people want to use different versions for whatever reason. And so we want to give our clients that flexibility. So it's really as simple as logging into your cPanel and changing it. If you want to use the default version, then fine, you can. You don't have to worry about this. But if you do want to change it, it's very simple. So let me demonstrate how. So first, you're just going to go to your account and you're going to log in. I'm going to use a demo account. Once we're logged into the client area, we'll just select our cloud web hosting. Okay, then we'll look for the package that we want to edit, or the website rather. Okay, so you can see my sample website here is namehero.org. So I'm going to click right here to log into cPanel. And once I do that, I will see my cPanel with all the options I have. And you just want to scroll down under software, and you're going to see it's right here, select PHP version. So we'll click this. And then we can see our default is version 5.5. Again, if you want to keep it default, you can. Most scripts work with 5.5. That's why we use it. We've hardened the service for 5.5. Um, so it's all set. Now, if you want to change it, then you're free to do so. Um, and you can see we've got 4.4 and all the way up to 7.0. We've gotten a lot of requests for 7.0. It's still kind of beta-ish in the PHP world, um, but it is available here at namehero.com. So if you want to keep the, if you just want to keep the default version, but you want to add some extensions, I know a lot of scripts out there, they call for certain PHP extensions to be um, installed. Well, before you had to submit a ticket and say, hey guys, you know, we need this extension, we need that on our website, and, and it took a little bit of a process. Well, that's not the case anymore. Now you can just simply click 5.5. And you can see all these options. Here's all these extensions that you can add to your site. So you have to set it as current just to change it from the default, just so our default extensions don't stay loaded. So it makes it custom. And then you can begin select. You can add the extensions or you can remove. There's some extensions you don't need. If you don't know, then just leave what we have default. Um, but this is very helpful for those of you that have scripts that, that need these extensions. Um, I know a lot of our affiliate marketers that sign up, they need PDO um, and they need several other things to tracking scripts to function correctly. So that's the cool thing about um, this is you can do it right here. Um, as soon as you select which ones you need, you just click save. And if you think you may be messed up, you can just go back and revert to our defaults and, and then you've got it. You can also go to PHP options and you can change your memory limits. Now this is another big thing that a lot of our support tickets come in is, hey, can you change the memory limit on PHP for me? Okay, so default's not as high as this. So when I selected 5.5, it brought up this. So this is a big one, the memory limit that a script can consume. So you can see we allow all the way up to 512 megabytes. So by default, it's going to apply the defaults, but then you can change it. And you can change any of these. Um, I know that um, allow URLF open, that's a big one that a lot of people would need for several scripts, especially our friends that do affiliate marketing. So you could add that here. Um, and you can even display the error log and a lot of stuff that you know you used to have to do um, by submitting a ticket or in your HT access file that was very complicated and confusing. You can now do it right here inside of cPanel. And this is on all of our shared basic accounts and all of our reseller accounts. So if you're one of our resellers, and we have a lot of them, you can also offer this to your clients and they will love you for this. Um, so this is another great selling point to using NameHero as your reseller hosting provider. So if you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out to us and let us know. But we're excited. This is all live now on all existing accounts. If you have an account with us, go to cPanel. You'll see it. Your customers, if you're a reseller, they can log into cPanel and see it. Um, if you have not signed up with us yet, this is another benefit to using our managed cloud web hosting. And we keep everything updated and, and nice and organized for you. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, we take all the guesswork out of it. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video, shoot us a message, shoot us an email or, or comment on our blog. Um, we'd love to help you out. But thanks a bunch, everyone.